can't come to the tight lounge and not have a cigar. You can't do that. You can't do that. But you can't have a cigar and not film a video. That's right. It's like a domino effect of shit that yep. must have per tape, per tape. Yep. If we're here. Yep. It's got, it's got to be on video or it didn't you know happen. It's got to be on video. You know? How was your trip to Bakersfield? <laughs> 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 that good, huh? Shit. It was good. Yeah? Got a little... A little kick? A little kick in this little small stick. Okay. Have mercy, <laughs> shit. It was good, man. Nice and, nice and relaxing, dude. I saw, I saw a picture of you, a little video. You all swagged up while you were out there. Oh, with the black Doc Holiday in my outfit, yeah. boy. Yeah. <laughs> that looks clean. And believe it or not, I've had that, that long coat for about 15 years. Really? Yes. Never worn well, it, or? Nah, well, I wore it a couple of times when I bought it. Just a few times. No, stuff like that you only wear on special occasions. Right. But that jacket, I've never really worn it, but maybe two or three times. But it's when Wilson's was in business. Oh, okay. So, no, Wilson's had all the good weather products. Yeah, they so had that, some really that, nice jackets. That came from Wilson's, and I just had it in a garment bag for, I don't know how long. So, I was like, I had the, the big Brixton hat on that you saw in the video. Yep. And it's like, I gotta wear this. And boom, it all just fucking it flowed together. Okay. Yeah, it, it came together nicely. It right. Was a nice, Thank you, nice outfit. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? Scar Titan here once again with my good friend Brother Stogie. Say hello to people. Titan, man. Brother Stogie. Hmm. We got two things we're going to cover today. <laughs> One of them I actually wasn't planning on covering on today's episode. But we have to. But we have to. It has yes. to be addressed. Yes. The other is from our good friends over at Luxury Cigar Club. Yes, LuxuryCigarClub.com, monthly subscription service, the most luxur luxurious cigar, so we are, God, shit. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> the most luxurious, luxurious cigar subscription on the planet. That's right. Are you ready to get into this one? Let's give it to them. Welcome back, everybody. Like we said at the beginning of the episode, that's right. We got a couple of things we're going to be covering today. We definitely have the Luxury Cigar Club cigars that we're going to be talking about. Yeah. Platinum and the Core Box today. Mm -hmm. But Brother Stogie, before we get into that, mm -hmm. a couple of things. What are we drinking? This is a cocktail made by our executive assistant, executive assistant president. Um, she got promoted, yes. Um, <laughs> I forgot what it was, but I know it's Casamigos up in here. So if y'all see Brother Stogie on the road today, this <laughs> evening, um, you know why. What about yourself? So I actually am trying, this is a moonshine, and it's called Maple Bacon. I forget what the brand is. Is it the old old Smoky? No, it's not Old Smoky. I'll have to look. I'll put it in the description when we're okay. going through. But it is quite delicious. Got Definitely got a bit of a kick to it. Yes. For sure. Um, but you can definitely taste both of those distinct flavors. The moonshine and the bacon? The, the maple and the bacon The maple there. and the bacon. See, be yes. careful, man. The moonshine will sneak up on you. Have oh, you man. Run, run across your driveway butt-ass <laughs> I've, right, so I've had a couple moonshine I'm, sneak I'm, up I'm, on I'm, me. I'll make sure I get up out of here before that happens. That's so, right. Yes. <laughs> so, But before, before... Brother Stogie, we get into the boxes today. Mm. I woke up to a mm. message that I shared with you in the comment section of one of our previous videos. Yes. That we both felt probably needed to be addressed. Yes. So I'll let you kick it off. So even though it, 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 we got we got an apology sure. from it, but we still need to address it to show the rest of the Titan fan. You know what I'm saying? What happened? So the comment was a, mis a misinterpretation of what we'll say to one of our previous videos. Right. Statement was that whenever Brother Story goes to a lounge that's, you know, in the surrounding areas, that based on my skin color, I automatically assume it won't be too much of me in there. With me in particular, when I, so outside of the, you know, the selection of, of cigars and what the atmosphere looks like, I kind of want to get a feel of the people in there. Okay. Okay. With me per se, I'm automatically looking for not to be too many of me around. But that's not all, all ends all, okay? I'm, all, I'm looking for people who are welcoming, who are inviting. And even if I'm not partaking in the, the festivities inside the lounge, they at least give me one of those. Right. His interpretation was that, but I still didn't like to go to the square lounge where black people are, because I don't like black people and I don't want them around when I smoke. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> be it that, this is a channel where we discuss nothing but the brotherhood surrounding the leaf. Yes. That was a mo that was probably the most um disappointing statement we have ever come across. Certainly one of, for sure. Yeah, so uh, we were called Tiki Torch Titans. Yes, which I'll I'll, I'll address in a few. You you address that. So I was like, look, listen. So obviously you misinterpreted, you heard some stuff, missed a few catchphrases that brother Swift put out there, and you didn't quite take the message that I got from that. So let me go ahead and jump in there. See, we are very active in the comments on here. So whether good, bad, or indifferent, we are going to engage every single comment uh, to the best of our ability. But this one got brother Swift's full attention because if y'all watch, if y'all have been watching us these past four years, y'all would know that I am very pro-black as they come, as a black man with a black beard with black hair. Um, I even have a black truck with a black woman. Um, the house shoes that I wear at night are black because I'm very pro-black. Um, but this happens to be my brother here regardless of what his color is. So please make sure you guys come correct when you guys are listening to our videos as the message that we portray here is n will never be uh, to disrespect anybody regardless of the color of their skin. Anybody. We promote brotherhood within the leaf to everyone, every country, every state that we are viewed and we are viewed almost damn everywhere. So uh, I do appreciate the apology. Um, you being man enough to say, hey, I'm a man. I just know that I've seen some derogatory shit beyond our black brethren that I don't want to see. And I thought I heard some shit come from Brother Sogi's mouth that shouldn't have did, but I didn't. I stayed correct. And so I appreciate that. Cigar yes. Titan. <laughs> so I had a couple of um, issues with the comment, obviously. Yes. You know, I, I in, when I first saw the comment, I read it a couple times, I actually went back in, I think like you did, and rewatched that section of the video a few times to get an understanding of... Have to rewatch our own damn video as right. we didn't film it. <laughs> right, you film it? I cut and edited it. You know what I'm saying? By... So when I read the comment, I was like, man, like... Did Brother Snowy sneak something in that I'm not aware of? Like, because I'm pretty sure he, he edits the video, so I'm pretty sure he would have called me on the phone. But hey, Brother Snowy, are you sure you want to tell other black people that you don't like black people when you want to scare them? I'm pretty sure he would have told me that because that might spark, you know, uh, shit. Right. But, but go ahead. Right. And so, and this is this retort is not going to be an attack on the person who left the comment, right? Right. And I think right, I, right, right. I specified that in the comment that I left there. Um, the issues that I took with that were a couple. One, you know, I, I made the call. I think I started off that comment by saying that I wasn't going to speak on your behalf. Right. You, you know, so one of his replies to that was why I didn't address what he was saying in his initial comment. And I, I very clearly stated that I wasn't going to address that part of it. I was going to let you speak for yourself. Right. So the answer to your question there was, I'm going to let Brother Stogie speak for Brother Stogie. He doesn't need, to sp doesn't need me to speak for him. Right. right. Uh, the other part of that was that they had made some comment to me kind of nodding along and co-signing uh, in whatever type of discriminatory fashion they thought you were speaking in, which yes. again, that, that part of the comment I felt was directed towards me. Mm -hmm very specifically called me out. Because you supported a black person that doesn't like scrawling with black people women. <laughs> right. Yes. Uh, and then we ended the comment with the Tiki Torch comment. And so uh, there, there was some- Tiki Torch Titans. Yeah, there was some back and forth there with that. And you know, the, the gentleman who made the comment said that uh, he didn't in fact call us racist. Well, I think anybody who knows their recent history, this was an event that took place, I want to say back in 2017, if I'm not mistaken, there was an event out in Virginia where a bunch of white nationalists mm -hmm. got together with tiki torches and did a march to protest, I think, if I'm not mistaken, one of the things they were protesting was the removal of the Confederate flag in some of the southern states, right? Mm -hmm. And it was supposed to be this whole unite the right type of a rally thing. As a part of that march, a lot of white supremacists from other groups participated in this march. And I think when you're talking about like a bunch of white people getting together and marching, carrying torches, mm -hmm. if you look at the history there, right? those are traditionally very- <laughs> Racist as. Right, racist marches. Yes. So when we get compared to something like that without any proof or any, I mean, like I said, 
Four years and almost 200 episodes later. And 10,000 subscribers, just it, about. Just about. Like, it just blows my mind that people are so quick to one, be upset about something without asking questions, and two, to inflect some type of a racist agenda or comment as a part of their argument when it has nothing to do with that. I think this whole thing could have very easily been resolved. No apology would have even been needed at this point if the person had just said, hey, I saw this, wasn't sure what you meant by this, Brother Stogie. Could you clarify? End of story. Exactly. Now, I don't know this person. Mm. I actually hope that the person continues to follow us on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Don't want anybody in the Titan fam to go into the comments. We're leaving the comments up. Could you put them out there? They're up there. It's out there. You can read it. Yep. But, but, but. We don't want anybody going and attacking people in the community or making comments towards them or anything else. Mm. We all make mistakes. Mm -hmm. All of us. I just didn't appreciate the way that the comment was formatted and the insinuations that were made in the comment that anybody who's been watching us for the last four years, I would think, would know better that we have always been about positivity, love and respect for the cigar community. Everybody. Am I missing anything here? And especially to be the first Bubba Ray and Devon Dudley of a racist community. I, I don't know. <laughs> right? I don't know any other cigar, and I could be wrong, but I don't know any other cigar channels out there that are doing what we're doing. That'd be something you see on like a 1990s episode of Jerry Springer. <laughs> right. right. You know, so they got a black and a white dude with a Confederate flag. <laughs> it just, it blows my mind. So I understand the references you were making in your comment. I took issue with that. Mm -hmm. um, I think, again, it, for all the young people out there that are watching our channel right now, it seems like this tends to be a generational thing. And I don't know how old the person was who made the comment. Mm. I'm assuming this person is younger, mm. at least than we are. Um, t slow down. Slow your roll. Quit looking for reasons to be upset. Quit looking to interject race or racism in everything that you may not agree with, give people the benefit of the doubt mm. and ask more questions. And I'll end on that. Okay, but I, I in, in the end, I understood where you were coming from. Even though what you thought was said was a bit far-fetched, but I understood where you was coming from. He was like, you know what, I've seen people where, I've seen our brother, our brothers, T-H-A-S. Yes. Where we are around each other, we don't acknowledge each other. That irks my soul. We I have, imagine it would. You know what I'm saying? Well, you got your own brother, your own black brother in an in a, in a area, and no one speaks to each other. I don't right. get it. You know what I'm saying? I don't where you're coming from. But probably accept it, but uh, we got cigars to talk about. All right. Let's bring it on. Yeah. So, um, get the saliva <laughs> going out of my mouth. Yes. <laughs> so, if you have, this, this is your first episode with the Cigar Titans, Titan fam. We are, this is the home of LuxuryCigarClub.com, the most luxurious cigar, cigar subscription service on the planet. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Way better than the first two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. right. Have mercy. And so we have tonight the platinum and the core box of LuxuryCigarClub.com. Yes. So why don't we jump into the core box first? Yes. We have so three we, sticks in the core box this So part. we have, so go ahead and get the card, a nice little card like this. has a nice little QR code that you can go ahead and scan with your phone. Uh, for all the old folks, um, anybody over the age of 50, if you take your camera, and it's like new stuff. <laughs> hey, have you seen it on TV? If you watch a commercial, I don't know who has their cell phone in their hand when they watch TV. I mean, they have QR codes that says if you want more information, take your phone to the commercial and scan the QR code. Again, I think it's a younger generational thing. I Always attached to the I mean, I'm not, I don't think I wait and watch TV to wait for a QR code to pop up, <laughs> you know? But you go ahead and you scan the QR code, it will take you to LushCraftClub.com. And for YouTube, for any YouTube uh, moderators watching this, if you, you have to say that you're 21 and over to get into this. So you press enter to get into 21 years old or over. And it will take you to every single, oh, oh, don't. If you want text notifications, you can say yes. But it will take you to every single core box from LuxuryCigarClub.com. Yes. Dating all the way back to November 2020. Wow, okay. All right, so we are in I like the archive on that. That's, not, that's one thing that I absolutely love. Again, Chris, Ben, if you're listening and watching any of these videos, it would be great 
to have that archive for something like the platinum, the palladium, and the other boxes that you sell on the site. So for anybody who's like, well, why would I get one? You can go through each of these archives and see the quality of sticks are yep. in these boxes. You know yep. what I'm saying? So exactly. March 2023 is what we in. We go ahead and you click it, boom, you take it to the three sticks are in the month's box. And this box, oh, this is a, that's a sexy, this is band right there. Let's go and start with that one. So this is the La Polina Classic Rosada Robusto. Yes. All right, so profile is bad boy is medium. Wrapper is Honduran. Binder Honduran. Filler is Honduran, Dominican, and Nicaragua. Okay. This is a five and a half by 50 ring gauge cigar. Yes. So I'm going to zoom in because I'm getting old. You know, and my <laughs> optometrist appointment hasn't come around yet for me to get my glasses. Um, so this one says expect notes of leather, spices, coffee, and a smooth, medium body. That's right up my alley. I love all those flavors. Right? Same here. Eight bucks for this cigar. Okay. Good deal. We'll switch over to the other side. And this is the Aladino Classic in Toro. All right. That is the big one. What? So Aladino Classic in Toro. Got Aladino it. Yeah. Classic in Toro. So Toro will be your size of the cigar. And this is a medium profile wrapper, Honduran, binder, Honduran, filler, Honduran. <laughs> <laughs> so gosh, this is a pure Honduran cigar. Everything about this cigar is from Honduras. This classic Toro is flavorful, bursting with notes of cedar, cream, earth, and a hint of pepper. Yes, I don't, so I'm actually smoking the Aladino. Uh, I don't know if this is the Robusto. I, I believe this is the Robusto. I think it's like a 50 or 52, but it actually comes out of the platinum box. So I'm smoking the Smaller version of what you just talked about out of the platinum box. Mm, mm -hmm. Get all of those notes with the exception of the pepper. I don't really get any pepper yet. That might come in towards the end. All right. So in the middle of this, or the middle of this bad boy, we have the Dunbarton TNT Tobacco or Trust. Are we doing the core? Or are we doing? Nope. This is the core box. That's the core box. Okay. So yep. Dunbarton. So the Corita. This is actually the one that ah, I'm smoking. That's the one you're smoking. Okay. Yeah, so this is the one I'm smoking. Me Kenny Gordita. So this is a four by forty-eight. I was right with the forty-eight. Yeah. So this is a full body stick. It was immediate notes when I, when I took my first few <laughs> puffs out of it. Yeah. <laughs> def <laughs> definitely. It got me early. <laughs> right. It got me early. So wrapper is USA by the Nicaragua filler. Also Nicaragua. 4x48, and this is see the dark and sexy USA Connecticut broadleaf that adorns. This wonderful cigar helps deliver flavors of sweet chocolate, coffee, pepper, and a satisfying smoke. Okay. What was the price of the Aladino? Aladino was $9.70. And that one goes for? $10. $10. So this one, so this was $10. The other one was $8. Already, already $18. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So nine seventy, you already have almost thirty bucks yep. for this box. But wait, but let's tell you. Yeah. How much does the core box go for? If you wanted the core box, the LCC, and times are rough, mm. but you gotta have a smoke. Yeah. Bills are piling up, but you gotta have a smoke. Mm. The gas company said that we are going to raise taxes for your gas bill five percent. But you gotta have a smoke. Yeah, that's true. You needed some eggs for the house, but you found out when you stayed the brothers that the 18 count went from 239 to $14. But you got five kids, you needed the 18 count anyway. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you gotta have a smoke. Gotta have a smoke. This box is only $18.99. <laughs> <laughs> we got you. <laughs> we'll make sure that your pockets are right. This box is nice and cheap. You get three sticks minimum. Yes. Every single month. Yep. Mail to your mail to your door. Placed in your mailbox every single month. Yes. Sometimes no you get like four sticks. Sometimes you get five sticks. I yes. think there's been a couple of months where we've actually gotten six sticks out of the core box. Yes. It was like two two of each. Mm -hmm. You know yep. what I'm saying? So hey, go ahead and check it out. Bro, if you don't smoke that much, you don't need five six cigars. You just want three at a time. Yep. Core box be perfect for it. Yep, absolutely. And if all the previous mentions apply to you, core box. There we go. But let's doge. Yeah, too hard type. Let's <laughs> let's get into the platinum box. Mm -hmm. What do we have on the agenda for today in the platinum box? Before we go to the platinum box, I want to say something real quick. Okay. So, social media, right? So I think 
social media, especially TikTok. TikTok is made of platforms where everybody can freely express themselves. Sure. But some shit has gone too far. <laughs> okay. Grown men, yeah. grown women, gone too far. Now, we went on to a trip to Tombstone, right? Remember? Yep, I remember. And you was like, hey, Brother Stoke, I'm a grown ass man, but I need some sounds to put me to sleep. I looked at you weird for a little bit, but I was like, you know what? I'm your brother. I'll satisfy that for you. And we put on some ASMR type shit. Yep, yep. Some raindrops. Yep. You know, some uh, people walking in the street make it sound like, you know, there's a little neighborhood of town. Yep. It was peaceful. <laughs> yes. But TikTok is taking ASMR too goddamn far. Yes. And I mean to the point to where this is my ASMR microphone, right? These people on TikTok people, all right? Now, I'm not getting old. I'm getting there, but I know when some shit just don't make sense. These people are going, they like. <laughs> I don't know. So you, the last time. You say that doesn't do anything for you. I wasn't going to head to sleep. I ain't going to hear nobody talking. <laughs> and a grown ass man going. <laughs> that shit is annoying. Yes. It's not what I think of when I'm thinking peaceful relaxation. People going. <laughs> like, no, that's, that isn't it. Back to the cigars. <laughs> okay. You got that out of your system? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so, what's that? Brother Stogie's system for a while now. <laughs> God. So, let's see. So, we'll start from right to left. All right. We'll start with the Cabal Initiative Short Robusto. Okay. Very simple band on this one. Profile is Bad Boys Medium. Rapper Corojo. Binder Nicaragua. Filler Dominican in Nicaragua. And this is a four and a half by 50 inch ring gauge. Okay. Nice little short smoke. Oh, I can't, I can't zoom this one out. Shit, man. <laughs> so we are very excited to bring this tasty collaboration to you all. We hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Let's see, so no notes in this one, let's see. Nope, no notes in this one, you gotta figure it out on your own. This thing, yep. $10. Okay. So moving next, this is the Aladino Classic Robusto. This is a yep. Robusto one. We talked about so that. So we had a Toro one in the core box. Correct. So if you're a big balling one, you get the Platinum and the core box, you got two Aladinos, one of each size. I'm smoking the Robusto. So a profile medium, wrapper, Honduran, binder, Honduran, filler. Wait, what is it? Honduran. <laughs> 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 yep. So this is a five two inch times. by 50 ring gauge cigar. Okay. Um, this class of Robusto was flavorful, bursting with notes of cedar, cream, earth, and hints of pepper, just like the other one. Okay, what's this one go for? $8.80. Okay. So the tour is about, what, a dollar more? Yeah. Almost, roughly. So we'll go back to the other side. This is the Dom Barton TNT, Tobacco and Trust, Sobra Mesa, Brulee, and Toro. All right, I think that the is one with the, the crown. crown. The crown yes. looking one? Yes. Very nice. So band. profile medium, wrapper, Ecuadorian, binder, Mexican. Villa Naked Island. This is a six inch by 52 inch ring gauge cigar. And uh, let's see. This Ecuadorian shade grown wrapper is beautiful and smooth with a Mexican binder filled with Nicaraguan leaves. This cigar is perfect to enjoy at any day and time. Next one is this nice, beautiful band, the La Galera Year of the Ox. This is a beautiful band. This is Year definitely of the Ox 2020. Best band in the box. And this is in Churchill. Churchill's another. This is a gorgeous cigar. Another size. So if, this, is, this is if you got two and a half to three hours to spin on a stick. Yeah. This is an absolutely gorgeous cigar. So this is a full body stick, wrapper Mexican, biter Dominican, filler Dominican. And this is a seven and a half yep. by 52 inch ring gauge cigar. Perfect. This is a full 
flavor body cigar that has gotten better with time. Couldn't agree more. All right. So if you ever get into these boxes, how much was that one? Uh, $19.99. Nice little twenty dollar stick. All you know, right. this is one stick is a dollar more than the core box. Yeah. And the core box you get three cigars. That's true. This was just this is just one. Yeah. Let's see. So if you ever get one of these boxes, platinum, palladium, the baller ass box. Yep. You get one big dog cigar. Yes. The one that costs every box. a little bit more than the rest of them. This one here is priced at twenty two dollars. Yes. So this is a Sinistro in the Lancero. This is an LCC exclusive, which means you're not going to find the cigar in any other subscription service uh, except from cigarclub.com. This is a full body steak wrapper. It's Dominican, binder Indonesian, filler is Nicaraguan, Dominican, and good old American. Good old American. Good old American huh? fillers. This is a 7 inch by 40 ring gauge cigar. So let's see, this Lijero Loaded. So, automatic, off the top. You read this card, you see Lajero loaded for all my beginner smokers. <laughs> that means that this cigar is gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> all you're right? A, you're lightweight. If you're lightweight, this is gonna get you. This is not the one that you show off in front of your friends if you ain't had a full body stick before. This is one you gotta go ahead and make sure you ate. Yep. Got a nice drink that has some nice you know, vanillas, like sugar notes yep. in there. Have some sugar on tap. Have sugar on tap, maybe even a, a Hershey's Kiss or something nearby. Yep. Cause it's gonna get you down there where your blood sugar might drop a little bit. That's right. All right, but don't fear. Eat the chocolate or some sugar, you'll be good again. That's right. So uh, this Lancero is available exclusive to, yeah, I read, read that already. Uh, no flavor notes, figure that out on your own. So yeah, $22. <laughs> $22, all right. And what does the platinum box go for, Brother Stogie? I believe the price of this box will run you Fifty dollars, ninety five. Yes, <laughs> that's right. So you see, rough, these things were roughly in between ten, fifteen dollars a piece. Plus that twenty-two dollars stay. Yeah. You well, almost in the sixty-five, seventy dollar range for all these cigars. But fifty bucks, man, you can't, you can't beat that, bro. No, they they have great, great deals on luxurycigarclub.com. If you haven't gone to Luxury Cigar Club yet to check out the subscription options that are available to you, find something that works within your budget and get yourself some sticks. And you don't have to, if you don't want a cigar, a cigar subscription service, you don't have to. They have nice selection of cigars on the website you can yep. go to and you buy a box of cigars, packs of five, yep. packs of 10. And cigar accessories like this right here, Two Flame Torch, right there by LCC.com. Brother Stogie. Yeah. Battery's about to die on the camera. Yeah, we said enough already. <laughs> That's all the time we have. What should the people do? Hey, man, so if you enjoy our cigar reviews, hey, do us a favor and uh, subscribe to the damn channel. If you like that we comment on every single comment, good, bad, or indifferent, hey, subscribe to the content. Um, hit that bell so you can notify every time Cigar Time is supposed to do a video for y'all. Um, like, share, uh, tell YouTube, fuck the algorithm, we're going to get through anyway. And uh, <laughs> until next time, live how you smoke, smoke how you live. And that's smooth, baby. See everybody next week.